Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, Groove Mail for Beginners, and today is Tags and Segments. So we were talking about in the previous videos about your, your leads coming in and you, you're putting them into a list. Now, what happens if you want to basically start adding information to those leads? Now, for example, say you have a, a fitness business, right, and you've got on your website or landing page, whatever it is, you've got uh, an opt-in for people to sign up for weekly you know, fitness tips or whatever it may be. Now, fitness tips could mean you know, anything. What if that person was specifically just interested in weight loss, for example? Now, what if you could tag on a little bit of information for that lead and say, you know, this person is interested in weight loss? But, you know, we'll, we'll come to why that's really important in a second. So basically you could go in and uh, in fact, just create one here, but let's just do um, a new tag and we'll call it weight loss. I'll have to put in something else because I've got one already. And it's going to be, you know, this person is interested, interested in weight loss tips. And we'll, they're in the fitness category, and we'll create tag. So we've created the tag, and what what happens is when you know people sign through that specific form on your website, they'll be tagged that they're interested in weight loss. Now, the great thing is, it's when we're in segments, we can now start to segment these people into certain categories within our list. Now, let's just say we created a new segment. Um, and this is the you know weight loss tips segment, and we'll show you exactly what we mean. So in this segment, I only want to include people that are um, subscribed to the the list, the weekly fitness tips. And I'm going to add that, and I'm also going to do they have a tag, and they've been in the fitness category, and you know they've, they've got the weight loss tag. So now what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to um, only specify people that are signed up to certain lists or have certain tags. And then what it will do, the system will then, you know, get all these people or all these tags or whatever it may be. And they'll start filtering them out into these different um, sections down here. And what that means is you, you know, as you create more and more leads, the, this segment will start filling up, filling up, filling up. Now, the really important thing about this is when you're sending out your emails and you have a list of people, and let's just take this fitness example. So you're sending out your weekly fitness tips, but what if you could send out, um, you know, a, a whole weight loss tip section? You, you might not want to send that to your whole list because it might not be relevant to the list. So you want to send it to people that are specifically interested in what it is you have to say. So this email might, for example, have a, a subject line because remember, you, you people have to click your email to then be able to read it. So, you know, you want to increase your open rate. So basically, this headline might say, you know, five tips for losing weight in 30 days, whatever it is. Now, if you're sending that out to your list and somebody's not interested in weight loss, they're not going to open that email. Your open rates are going to be really low. But what if you can send that to a segmented, you know, uh, targeted audience within your list that you know that are interested in weight loss? Your open rates are going to go through the roof because the content is relevant to what it is they want to learn. It's solving a problem that that's the main reason they signed up in the first place. So your open rates are going to come up, going to go up, you provided value to them because they're going to read your email. And then, um, you know, depending on what that email is, is doing, maybe it's just building no like and trust. So maybe you're sending them a series of emails all, all about um, weight loss over a period of uh, days or weeks or months. And then perhaps, you know, as you go down the line, you might put in an offer to these emails. You know, are you part of my, you know, weekly membership program, whatever it may be. Now, can you see how segments can start getting really, really powerful because you're starting to get laser focused, aren't you? Um, it's, it's only going to people that are relevant within that category or segment um, and then the chances of them reading your content and then possibly signing up and being a customer in the future have just skyrocketed so um, tax and segments are just another tool within GrooveMail that you can use to, to your benefit um, to make sure that you, whatever message it is that you're portraying is getting to the right people and the right list, the right tags, whatever it may be and it's, it's hugely powerful now I'm pretty sure that um, 
as group mail, you know, um, grows and grows, that these there'll be loads of different options in here, depending on, you know, there, there might be a male, female, or there, you know, all these de different demographics, or whether the um, lead is active or not, and you can really start building, you know, segments within these lists and get laser targeted on the information that you want to send out uh, to the world. So I hope that was um, useful to you. That was uh, tags and segments within group mails. And, and in the next video, we'll go over um, the campaigns, broadcasts and sequences. And that's where it really gets exciting because, um, you know, that's when you start actually communicating to your list. So thanks for joining me in this short video today. We will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already and like and comment because um, that gives me feedback to provide you with even more value. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone.